Happy spring, everybody. Can you not feel it in the air? And um, I don't know, for those of you who are sensitive and tuned in like I am, you've really felt some shifting and some major, major movement of old, stagnant, um, useless energy getting out of the way. It's like somebody cleared out a great big huge closet for us and uh, gave us a whole bunch of new creative space and said, here you go. We got out of this junk out of the way for you. Like, you know, here, play. And it just feels so beautiful, especially if you're noticing it in your body too. I um, quite often pick up the same things in the body as what's going on in the world around me. So, um, a lot of us are feeling a lot more um, positive support being given and received than we ever have before. And from people, places, and things that we did not expect it from. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wonderful when the universe just, you know, you cry out for help and say you need to talk to somebody or you, you're lost, you need some inspiration and somebody shows up in your world and provides that for you? Don't you love celebrating that kind of magic happening? It's just wonderful, you know, when we've been going through a stagnant phase and then somebody, you know, throws somebody into our world who shows us how to laugh at things again. And, you know, laughter is extremely healing medicine. It's definitely one of my go-tos and always in my go-to toolkit. You know, if I can find the funny way of spinning the story or what's going on at the moment, if I can get the people in the room to laugh, laugh at their own silliness and their own, um, you know, crazy thinking sometimes, because usually it is some, you know, kind of stuff, stagnant thoughts that we've been carrying around for so long that really don't serve us. I mean, a lot of it was shit we picked up from our parents and our grandparents, you know, because they talked that shit and garbage and they were not forward thinking. They were carrying on traditions and the ways, you know, that the world was. But, you know, if they weren't extremely happy beings or healthy beings, um, really how valid was their ways as far as, you know, making things better in life? I'm not disrespecting the past generations. I, they were led down the same trail, you know, and forced fed a lot of really cruel, illogical beliefs that hurt a lot of people. So instead of repeating these histories and these traditions, let's let's call them call a spade a spade let's call it what it is it was it was dysfunctional and it was cruel not to give and receive unconditional love to our children all of them because that's what they come in wanting to give and what they expect to receive when they do give it and they give it and they are waiting to receive it and when they don't it just causes a it causes a clusterfuck in your mechanism system it really does you know it's like a plus b is not getting me to c it's you know it's sending me to f u f u and i just can't figure out how to get to c see me please love me Please accept me as I am. Please. Is what so many of us, generation after generation after generation, did not receive wholeheartedly from the generation previous to us. Because each generation has been programmed to carry things verbal um, limiting beliefs, these routine languages and sayings that we say, 
that really we don't honestly realize when we're saying these words half the time how cruel we're being to other human beings. And that is what has to stop. The attacking all others, <laughs> the AAA, it's got to go. Let's try um, accepting all others. Let's try believing and co-creating and inspiring and, you know, shining the light on each other's gifts instead of picking apart what the shit we are looking for. We're always looking for shit. That's the past generations. That's the old ways. The old's got to go. It feels so much better when you can make someone happy and smile and focus on what's good and what's absolutely working in life and that all is well, okay? Because when you can get on that station, that frequency, that thought pattern and bringing in those new sayings and instilling some new routine conversations such as, um, you know, wow, it's really so beautiful that we didn't really have a harsh winter. It was, you know, mild throughout January. It was mild pretty much throughout February. And we're already into March. So, hey, spring is here and I'm doing the happy dance. And I'm not carrying on that routine tradition that so many of you have. That, you know, once we say it's been nice out, that you got to instantly drop a lead weight of negativity attached to it. Oh, it's been good, so we're going to pay for it later. Like bullshit, I call bullshit on all your old shit and stop thinking it and stop calling it in. It's bullshit. We can have a beautiful mild winter and we can have a beautiful mild spring. It's happened in the past. Now let's celebrate the sunny, beautiful day that we have. Instead of calling in, already focusing on the fact that we might have a fucking storm someday again. Like holy shit, you cannot just enjoy the sun. And that has not served you. Those routine, you know, throw in a negative self-sabotaging saying right here now. This is what we inject into the conversation right now. Those patterns, those habits, that's what's got to go. And you got to start biting your tongue and going, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm focusing on the beautiful flowers, how much I love them and how great things are and how happy I am that I heard from some beautiful people today and how I got to send a card to somebody that I was thinking about and I know in a couple of days they're going to open their mail and they're going to smile and they're going to feel great when they open that card I sent and uh, yeah that's the kind of beautiful new realities that we can create because when we focus on beautiful things and things that we're grateful for and all the things that are going our way, um, we see more beautiful things and honestly, more things to be grateful for will come your way. That's how it works. Your own life is evidence of it. So, I mean, sit down and write down the routine thoughts and things that you usually have and say in the past because, you know, it's absolutely possible to try something new. Anything's possible. It's always, always, always up to you in this moment to choose. Same with the old shit. Because I know it, and my ego doesn't like to try new things because it might look stupid. So I'm just going to stick with everything I learned in the first five years of my life, and that's good enough. Not going to go beyond that. All right? These have served me so far. But have they? Have they? Holding on to those old stubborn negative beliefs and sayings? How do they really? really make you feel to spit out that acid and sayings and attack people and talk negatively about it. Has it really made you happy and healthy and living the good life? And if it has not, wow, and if it didn't make any of them happy and healthy and live the good life, well, then it's trying to let it go. Whew. I 
Like if you just if you eat something every day and you go it tastes like shit. Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit. And somebody go, well if it tastes like shit and it makes you feel like shit, then stop eating that. Stop eating that. Stop putting that in here. Stop fueling your brain and your heart and your body and your soul with things that don't make you feel good. Ugh. I feel so yucky every time I eat that. Well, duh. 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 Don't eat things that don't make you feel good. Don't think things that don't make you feel good. That's how it all is well with me. The universe is conspiring in my favor to bring the what is greatest and highest for the all involved to happen. If you walk around saying things like that, oh my goodness, you are going to see the roses. Other people are still focusing on that. <laughs> Barely could find, but they spotted it. <laughs> Snowdrift. <laughs> Where's your focus? Where's your happiness level? Where's your success and your joy and your connections with people out there sending you good vibes? How much have you got that going on in your world? Do people, you know, say, yay, you, thank you, you inspired me? Yay, you, thank you for sharing in this co-creation. Thank you for inspiring me. All of you out there inspire me to keep giving and going and doing more of this. It's so wonderful when you all, you know, you, the, the words that you send me are your gifts, okay? So I thank you all back for letting me shine and know that it is a gift that I have and that my words are healing and helping you feel better and move forward. And those of you who have recently experienced a healing and reading session from me, um, <laughs> your words are so, so inspiring me to take bigger leaps forward. So thanks to all of you. It was... Um, the last uh, week of February, I was sitting in the backyard and um, there was a grasshopper down at my foot. And uh, that's extremely strange for where I am this time of year. But like I said, anything's possible. And I absolutely believe it's early spring, early spring. I've been saying it since December. So, um the next day it snowed, so it was even more magical to be seeing that grasshopper. Um, he'd be more happy with today's temperatures. But it's just evidence, and I always see it, and I'm given clues and messages from nature around me, from the people who connect with me and cross my path. And once you're kind of in my radar, you know, I get messages about you here now and then. It's so funny because people say, you know, it's so funny that you emailed me just when you did because blah, blah, blah was going on. <laughs> and I just smile and I'm like, yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> Smiles to all of you out there. If any of you are interested in coming and meeting me, please um, send me an email. I'm in Alberta. I'm in Calgary and Carstairs. And available for personal readings and healings so and um, we're going to be doing some creative healing fun shops for those of you who are interested in that we're going to be doing some painting and some releasing and healing and calling in some magic for this spring so if you're ready for that, to uh, do some detox of the thoughts, um, some clearing of some old stagnant <sighs> energy thoughts and beliefs that don't serve you anymore, then sign up for the fun shop. To sign up, you email me, smilingconnections at gmail.com. And say, yes, I want to be involved in one of the fun shops. 
um, happening in Calgary and or car stairs. So you can check out where that is depending on where you live in Alberta. So the cost of the fun shops are going to be $55. So five, five. Five represents change. So if you've been seeing five, five or five, five, five a lot lately, you should realize that the universe is bringing in some big, beautiful, huge changes for you. And it's time to clean out that last cloud of stagnant energy and dust and it's a beautiful energy spring cleaning that we're going to be doing with our thoughts and our feelings oh yes and i'm going to be uh traveling into bc so i'm going to be doing some fun shops there see you all soon smiles to you thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for sharing my videos and commenting below helps don't know why um and uh, sharing 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 if you found or heard something in here that inspired you to keep going this spring share okay I'm gonna pull one card from my second tarot deck and I'm gonna pull one card from my earth magic oracle deck right crown chakra <laughs> Connection to the spirit world is definitely, definitely, definitely coming in way more clear uh, this week. Um, and I've really been connecting with a lot of people who are tuning that in big time. So I'm going to be doing some fun shops on that, amping up your intuition. So if you want to be involved, comment below. Let me know where you are. The greater the numbers, um, you know, the, the bigger the room I'll get. That's, that's what I need to know, okay? So, there'll be a small group in the living room or, um, you know, a hundred people down at the community hall that want to come and laugh and learn and heal and be inspired and clear out some old stagnant energy. Bring in some new magic this spring like they've never experienced before. Being told to pull that card. Iceberg. Submerged. Well, interested to see what that is. Iceberg submerged. <laughs> feel like you've been held underwater, but now you're just kind of coming back out. That's what that feels like to me. A lot of um, things have been broken through and healed for me in the last few months. Um, relationships healing um, from the past and old stagnant scar tissue that needed to be cut through and released. And as it's been cut through and released, wow, I mean, I've been feeling it in the body, but it's also like it was a totally, totally beautiful new energy happening this morning and it was it was so wonderful to feel some of that clearing happening and um, I'd be very interested to hear in your comments if any of you have been feeling some big shifts in your body in your environment in your world in your relationships okay you know just kind of a confirmation that yeah this has been happening with you too and you're grateful for the new energy the release of the old um just looking for this okay iceberg submerged up to 90 percent of an iceberg today is below the surface right deeply submerged in the bosom of grandmother's ocean yet grandmother allows considerable freedom for her enormous children permitting them to move about as dictated by the currents and their own momentum. Having broken off from a glacier of ice shelf, they float along the sea, much to the detriment of vessels that attempt to traverse their passageways. Most of us have heard stories of ill-fated ships that have had tragic encounters with these ice mountains. Although the topmost portion of an iceberg can easily be seen, there's still a massive amount of its body below the water that may be difficult to detect. At that which remains unseen can fool us and perhaps even be dangerous and damaging. 
Whatever you suppress or deny and attempt to keep out of conscious awareness will show up somewhere, somehow. <laughs> I've been saying that to uh, just about everybody's family. If what you cannot say it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother me because poof, I'm gonna have a volcano or it's gonna manifest in your body, you know, it just does. So, you gotta speak your truth. Uh, speaking your truth does not mean you're attacking someone. We can speak our truth in a non-confrontational manner. We can, we can learn the language of that. The happy medium. Most of us have been taught extremes. If we disagree with somebody, then it has to be an extreme, like they're wrong. They're right, and life doesn't have to be in extremes like that. <sighs> At one time you put down out of your consciousness for good reason, yet they remain contained by shame and guilt. Sometimes these submerged aspects of yourself are protected unto others so that they uh, mirror those denied or suppressed parts of you. And you may even harshly judge these characteristics when they are exhibited. Now is the time to allow these elements to surface and embrace them. These may make up some sort of self-expression, a secret dream you, wish you to, dream you wish to accomplish, or even uglier aspects that are difficult to acknowledge or accept. Whatever you have submerged deep inside of you, this is your opportunity to pay attention to those things and welcome them to the family called you. I tell people, you got to love yourself, warts and all, you know. I'm not perfect at everything and um, definitely guilty of holding things in, especially when I know I'm in a room full of people who aren't listening. You know, it's like if what it doesn't matter if what you're saying is making sense. You know the people by the look on their face and their body language, they're going like this. No, 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 how long till you're done? I need to leave the room and go, you know, do something familiar. <laughs> and um, so then I get mad at myself. It's like, well, why do you keep talking when you're obviously, you know, they don't want to listen. But then if I shut it off, you know, cut it short, then they're like, oh, well, what's wrong? What's wrong? And, they, and it's like, well, you didn't want to talk, so I'm pulling back. And it's only when I'm pulling back that they go, you know, whoa. Like, okay, so there wasn't an even exchange of energy going on. There was there was two walls hitting each other and hurting each other by by their communication styles, okay? So until we can learn to, you know, dance and share the stage and acknowledge others and give each other their share and their time and their acknowledgement for their beauty and their gifts then we can gratefully and in positive ways acknowledge compliments and receiving of gifts of ourselves as well. There's no shame in receiving a compliment. That's historic thinking and it's not serving a lot of you. And you'll learn more and more about your beautiful self once you learn to accept all of it all of you, even the stuff that you in the past have deemed not so wonderful. Love it. Thank the lessons that are brought into your life. Okay? That's another way of looking at a certain aspect of ourselves. Because you did this or that, or you said this or that, or you know, thought this way, you know, it did teach you this, this, and that. Now take your lessons change your thinking to something more positive that's going to serve you and move forward. I hope you're as inspired about the beautiful new changes that are happening here and the new learnings and connections and gifts people are waking up. Um, their intuition, their connections, their um, knowings their abilities to see so much is happening for so many of you and i'm so happy to be someone who gets to help you um tune in and fine tune your ability to connect with um your higher self or other beings and spirits on the other side and um your own inner knowings of what's best for you and 
when you're faced with a fork in a road, to no longer be filled with fear and self-doubt and happily, merrily go skippling down whatever lane you're drawn to and never ever have any regret and look and wonder about the other one. No, you're always so busy being happy in the moment. And um, those old doubts and fears, as they start to creep up, you recognize them sooner. You go, whoa, 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 wait. That's something I used to think before. It didn't make me happy, so I'm not thinking that no more. All is well with me. Smiles to you. Happy spring. Look forward to connecting with more of you in person soon. Smiles to you. It's me, Dana.